If you've had a baby, have you processed your birth story? The day of labor, delivery, birth, the birth of yourself as a mother, the birth of your baby is without question, one of the biggest and most transformative days of your life. I'll speak for myself at least, of my life. <laughs> and it's a day where even though there's so much happening, it's a day that if I ask you right now, you probably could recite very specific details that you would never ever think to even remember on any other day. It's a day of, it's a basically, I, I see it as a, a portal of connection to your deepest parts of yourself and an opportunity for you to really learn and explore about who you are, who you're becoming, what you're holding onto. Whether your birth was uneventful or whether it included a significant amount of trauma, you deserve to be able to process your birth story and to do so in a safe and non-judgmental space. For the past year, I've been training um, under uh, the legendary Pam England and learning the art of birth story medicine, which is a birth story listening process. And what I have found is that from the sessions that I have facilitated, hearing birth stories and undergoing this very special process is that if given the chance, the birth story will show you parts of yourself that you would never have experienced or known about otherwise. It can uncover limiting beliefs and it can open up possibility of connecting and healing ancestral trauma, um, so much about who you are, where you come from, what your expectations are, what cultural conditioning you have. There's so much richness and layering to a birth story. And it's it's a pity that the sharing of birth stories isn't more, more commonly done in the West. Uh, it isn't something that's commonly celebrated and oftentimes if you do hear a birth story it's from someone who's had a really rough experience um, and they're trying to process it but don't necessarily have the, the tools yet. Um, so my invitation to you is if you have experienced a birth to talk about it to someone who can hold that with you and for you. And a great place to start is to look up the um, anyone who is a birth story listener. Um, often also postpartum doulas can be really fantastic um, resources for that. And as soon as you can after your birth, write down the story. Write down what happened, what you experienced, what you remember. But maybe wait at least a month or more or six weeks or more before you tell it in a way of processing, um, as, as is the case with talking to a birth story medicine listener, for example. Uh, and it's never too late and it's never too long um, to, to be with and to process the stories. So I've worked with women who are 22 years postpartum. And again, it's crazy that they remember so much specific element or so much, so much detail of the day and the emotions are still so, so vivid and so vibrant and so much is still felt in the body, even that far out, uh, it's, it's wild. And so to be able to have the chance to process certain parts, to be with unresolved parts uh, and to, to remember uh, with, with someone else and kind of a kind of a co-creative healing act is such a gift. So if you haven't done it yet, share your birth story with someone who you trust, who is a safe person to be with, not who is going to competitively suffer or going to interrupt you or share things all over the place, someone who is there for you. Uh, yeah, with that, I'm complete and I hope that you will try it out.